is your boy, Rod. Jeez! Back! With another story time. Yo, today's story time. I got sent to boarding school, y'all. And in boarding school, it was getting, it was going down. I was only there for three days. If y'all don't know how boarding school work, you got a uniform and you live on campus. You live on campus. Uh, I called my dukes. I let her know what was going on up there. She came. She got me out of there. You know, we're going to hop into it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I need you to click the like button. If you're on TikTok, the best thing you can do is spam the likes. Because if you have spam the likes, it's going to recommend it to more people so we can get some new supporters. Um, and I'm going to try to set this bitch up. Let me see what percent my phone on. Fuck it. I'ma get me a bucket. I got to get out my motherfucking tuck it. Ah, get bitch on my body, McLovin. Yeah. It's motherfucking Miz. I'm coming through. And I got the strizz. Anyways. Y'all not seeing this the next week, YT. <laughs> Real creamer in chat. Okay. Now I gotta clip up my story time, cause niggas saying weird shit. Anyways, back to the story. Yeah, I'm not gonna ban you for that. Don't let it happen again though. Alright, y'all, so let's get let's hop straight into the story. Alright, so me and my mom, look, I'm gonna be completely honest. Y'all know y'all know I keep it real hundred percent. Y'all know I keep it real hundred percent. Let me keep it real real quick. When somebody die, most of like when somebody die, most of the world or most of the people who knew the person that died lie and say this person was a good person. Or they make it like, yo, we love we love this person. But it don't even be that, for real. I love my mom. And I know I tell y'all the good parts about her. But how real would I really be if I didn't tell y'all the bad parts? Now, it's not even so bad. But just because somebody passed away. somebody I was telling a story time about my mom. And I was saying, like, how I didn't want to do the dishes. Or, like, we had a little fight. And the nigga said, like, bro, your mom passed, though. It's like, nigga, she still did it. Like, what? Like, you want me to fraud? That's like me passing away and, like, niggas just trying to keep it, like, keep it thorough. Like, no, don't keep it thorough. Just tell the truth. I don't know, but I got to tell the truth, yo. My mom used to whoop my ass with any weapon she could find. Bro, my mom used to whoop my ass with the belt. She used to grab stuff, throw it at my head. Bro, I swear to God, that's why I was good at dodgeball. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's only because my mom used to grab shit and just throw it at my head. You feel me? Not even just slippers. Like, slippers is like, what's that, like Spanish niggas? That's, that's y'all thing. Y'all, y'all grandma always got a slipper? No. My mommy always got a slipper. Sometimes she walk her bare feet on them nasty-ass floors. Sometimes only thing next to her is a microwave. Nigga, I had a microwave thrown at my head. I couldn't dodge that when I had to catch it. You feel me? Yo, Ban 3 e We, you has to go. Uh, see you, brother. But, um, anyways, bro, sometimes that's all that's next to you. Like, my mom just be throwing shit. You feel me? My mom done whoop my ass with a charger. Yeah, all that, bro. My mom whoop my ass with a charger, bro. That shit crazy. That shit ain't never had me charged after that. But... Strong ass dukes. She ain't never strong. If she was really strong, she would have been hitting me with them body shots. She start grabbing any weapon. She ain't strong for get for, for getting a weapon. Anyway, uh, my mom, me and my mom had this real rough patch, right? So, bro, first of all, when I was a young boy, when I was young, summer used to feel like months. Summer used to feel like six months, bro. Summer's getting shorter and shorter every year. Summer then went from feeling like six months to three months to two months to two weeks. This summer was the shortest fucking summer ever. Nigga, bro. I said, yeah, I'm about to do this shit for the, uh, I'm about to do this little tour for my, for my supporters for summer. They like, damn, what took you so long, bro? Niggas go back to school next week. Next week? We just got off. N- niggas just graduated. We just saw niggas posting their colleges and their caps and gowns. 
Nail niggas is going back? Some nigga told me he go back uh, August 4th. Hello? Whatever school district that is, why do you need niggas that early? Let niggas chill. They not letting niggas chill. It's getting, it's getting spooky out here, bro. It's getting spooky. Watch y'all backs, y'all. The school districts is getting crazy. But uh, right before school went back, me and my mom had a real rough patch. The, the patch was as rough as it could fucking get. It got so bad that my mom kept fucking lying and saying I was hitting her back. Every time she would come up to me, I was on defense mode. Like, usually when my mom punched me in my chest, she said, put your hands down. My mom, I already know her moves, so I straight went for the X-Man block like this. You feel me? Sliding back like I got claws in my hand. I'm not letting the punch go no more, Dukes. It don't matter who you is. You ain't getting those free shots in. You can't. I can't let her keep getting the free shots in, bro. They hurt. I'm going to keep it a buck. She either go for the punch in my chest so she can feel like Thor you feel me? Boom, punch me in my chest. Stop fucking playing with me. I think it make her feel manly. But it, uh, you ain't going to be feeling manly on my court. I threw the blocks up. Boom, blocked it. You feel me? Anytime I would block it or, yo, my mom my mom would grab me. And, and now I'm shaking her off. Now she, you fighting me back, pussy. Ah! Start punching me. Like, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. If you defend yourself against your mom, that's the same. In her eyes, that's the same as trying to beat her the fuck up. So I was, I, all that was going on, and she kept putting me on punishment. So she put me on punishment every week. It started to feel like she didn't want me to go outside at all. So since I felt like she didn't want me to go outside, one of those days, I said, fuck her, fuck her punishment. Shit runs. I'm going right outside. I spent the whole day out. My mom usually blow up my phone and all that. I answered the phone like, hello? She, uh, she said, get the fuck in this house. I said, mom, you put me on punishment all the time. I'm going to have fun today. That was the most young boy shit I ever said. My mom said, oh, really? I said, yes. Beep. Hung up. I came back home. My mom don't got no punishment for me. She not whooping my ass. Nothing. Nothing. Everything good. She don't even say nothing. She let me go outside. My mom could go outside. She started treating me like I was a, uh, like I was her, uh, roommate. She started hitting me with the, um, you could do what you want. Yo, mom, I'm hungry. You better get yourself something. Yo, mom, this that the third, okay. You feel me? She started treating me like I was a random nigga off the street. I start feeling homeless with a home. Shit is crazy. Bro, it was time to go back to school. I said, mom, look, this one I knew she was up to something. Mind you, it was only two weeks that she pulled this little stunt she pulled. Mom, you real slick for that. We ain't gonna let this go. But this what she do to me. This what she do. This what she cook me, right? She she hit me with that. I hit her with the mom school coming back up. I could get these shoes. She said, yeah, if you work hard enough. That's when I already knew she was about to hit me with the weird shit. I'm like, okay, if I work enough, bitch, I ain't never had no job. So, boom, she about to, she about to hit me with the, yeah, if you work hard enough. You feel me? Mom, I need a book bag. Oh, that's good. You ain't got the book bag from last year? She just starts saying all this shit. Like, and it's like, yo, mom, what you what you mean, mom? You blackballing me? What's going on? Like, you, <laughs> you boycotting your boy? What's going on? So, so... Mind you, I'm like, yo, I'm not going to get nothing. So I'm calling my other mom. I'm trying to call my dad. Mind you, my dad answering, saying, yeah, I'm going to get it for you, bro. Bro, it's two weeks. On that last week, my dad was supposed to bring it on every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, he was supposed to bring that shit. I don't even know how I let that nigga make me believe it was going to be a Thursday or a Friday. Yo, dad, you're a piece of shit. Anyways, my second mom, like, yo, I can't do it right now. Just a third. I think she has something going on. This shit was just getting crazy. So, it's time, it's time to, bro, pops be frauding all the time. Don't fraud, though. Keep it a buck. You know, I would respect bro more if he like, yo, nigga too gullible. He was getting me, bro. I was his kid. I would respect my dad more if he hit me with the, yo, I can't even get it, son. Now I'm not going to call you anymore. Now I'm calling you on Tuesday like, dad, you could come today, though. Yeah, I got you right after work. I'm calling him at 8 because I know that's what time you get off. Long day. They're going to have me here all day. After this, I'm going to just hit the bed. But Wednesday morning, Wednesday come up. Yo, Dad, you got me today on Wednesday? You know what, son? You could come up here and get that shit. You could meet me. So I don't even got a chance to lie to you. All right, say no more, Dad. Yo, Mom, I'm going to meet my dad. Dad, send the Addy. Dad. Dad. Dad, send the Addy. No Addy sent. Thursday come. Dad, you ain't send the Addy. This the Addy right here, son. You could come. I text him on my way. I'm not even at work today. I'm not even at work. 
<laughs> Bro, it's my dad. It's all my dad. I'm not here at work today. Friday come. Dad, you gonna be at work? Yes. Can I come? Yes. I come to work. I come to work. I see the nigga. I'm like, yo, there's no way he could shake me this time. They ain't there pay me yet, yo. They ain't there pay me. We could grab some food. You hungry? Food, nigga? I'm asking you to buy me a book bag. I don't want no fucking food. I want something to hold my utensils. He was just lying, bro. Every he treated me like one of his bitches. <laughs> bro, my dad was the worst liar ever. I be like, I'm not even one of those kids who be jealous like, dang, I wish I had a dad. Like, y'all so, like, stop. We don't feel bad for y'all. We've been getting gypped out of our dads for years. Let that shit go. You feel it? Cry a little bit, let it go. But the people who got their pop, shout out y'all. Like, I saw a little TikTok. They said, yo, they, mind you, the For You page supposed to be for you. So I don't know if I've been watching shit that ain't have nothing to do with me, but that shit wasn't for me that day. I went and saw, like, two dad TikToks back to back. It said, when well, my dad... When I got my own money, but I'm spending my dad money. I'm just like, damn. Did my dad have money? The shit hurt my heart. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Laugh now and cry later. I was Drake and Lil Dirk when I seen that post. I'm like, yo, this shit, this shit is crazy. I was laughing, but not really. But look, though. um, Bro, my dad frauding. My, my mom can't do it. My grandma bullshit. I didn't try to call every single person. You feel me? The day of school come up, and mind you, I'm texting all my friends like, yo, I'm going to see y'all at school. I'm going to see y'all at school. I'm going to see y'all at school. All this good shit, right? You feel me? Yo, please gift me with all the ease. Ban them now ASAP. Right, shake them hips. Fuck, I look like you. Your private dancer? Do I give you lap dances, nigga? Do I dance for you on command? Am I your bitch? I'm not. Get him out of here. You're done. Fuck you talking about? No homo, nigga. Nigga said, right, hit the hips for me. Pause? Nigga ain't say blip real quick, right, turn up. Nigga said, hit, do that little dance, the hips. What? Freak ass, nigga. You worse than my dad. Well, one sentence. I'd rather my dad ghost me than to hear a nigga tell me to, to hit a dance, and I gotta really hit it. Shit would make me feel so low. Um, anyways. Yeah, these niggas is weird. Um... You sound gay as fuck, and you can't type anymore. Banned you. Right, my dad did. R.I.P. your dad, bro. We we still live on. <laughs> Anyways, the day of school come up, I'm texting everybody like, yeah, I'm going to see y'all at school. Mind you, I'm sitting there getting dressed, and I'm thinking like, bro, my mom got me going to school with shoes that they already saw last year. I have no book bag. I'm about to walk in that bitch with a pencil case and a fucking composition book. You feel me? From last year. I'm like, damn, bro. I, me going outside that one day was really that bad? My mom, wake up. I said, all right, mom, I'm about to go to school. I'm thinking she about to be happy because I got myself up for school. She said, uh-uh, where you going? I didn't tell you you were still at that school. I said, I've been at that school for two years. My mom said, put your shit on. Bro, she come out with a book bag. The book bag already filled with a, uh, two, two number two pencils, two pens, an eraser, a ruler inside of the jaw, one, uh, two composition books. It was a blue jean sport bag. She got me some black shiny church shoes. She got me some gray slacks. I got a black tie. Bro, I'm sitting there dressed like I'm about to go get the worst job of my fucking life. Bro, she got me... Bro, she got me dressed like a shoe shiner. I'm sitting there like, what? Bro, mind you, the slacks don't fit slim. Y'all say, no, nah, you look, you was trim, right? I wasn't trim. I was trimmed. I was cooked, bro. I was not, it wasn't that, it wasn't, I didn't look that good. She had me looking like a dickhead. And the blazer, the blazer was dumb big, bro. That blazer was super dumb. And I'm like, where I'm going? And she like, boarding school. Mind you, I thought boarding school was like boot camp school or some weird shit. She come out with a bag like, yeah, your drawers are here, your socks are here. I'm like, damn, fuck you giving me away for adoption? Boarding school mean you got to go stay on campus. I'm staying on campus for a boarding school? I'm like, oh, fuck no. This bitch got me. You feel me? You got me fucked up. 
I'm like, I'm not going to boarding school. I'm going to school. I'm going to school. I start taking my blazer off. I'm like, I'm not going there. Beat my fucking ass, put me in a car, and now we're driving there. Beat my fucking ass. I ain't get my ass beat all, like, for the last two weeks. That was a that was a two-week build-up ass whooping. That's one of them ass whoopings, like, yo, I'm going to make you feel the pain. That's when they hit you with the, this going to hurt you more than it hurt me. Nah, not the other way around. This is this when they tell the truth. It's going to hurt you more than it hurt me. You feel, my mom just said that to me. She said, this going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. She didn't let me know. This, 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 this that, John. This, that. This, that. Go to the tub real quick. Go wash up. You take all your clothes off and she beat the shit out of you. That's one of them, John. So she beat my ass so bad. Now I'm in the car just mad as shit, y'all. We get to boarding school and the nigga is giving me a tour with my mom, bro. This shit is crazy. She he giving me a tour with my mom, and I'm just I'm just walking through the school getting a tour, and I'm just like, what the fuck? They take me to some room, and I got some black ass, bro. When I say black, like he blacker than Bo Bo. I got some black ass nigga as my roommate, mind you. He made me feel a little better about my my self esteem was up, cause uh niggas call me black all the time. You know bitches try to bust a little African jokes. Mind you, and I've never been one to disrespect girls, but they always try to hit the, oh, you so black and all this. But I never hit bitches with, you leave out leaving. You feel me? I never told a bitch how, how her leave out really was. Did I really tell a bitch how many months she had her braids in? Huh? I ain't tell no bitches how that lip loss don't fix an ugly face. You can keep them lips shiny, but you can't keep that skin clean. I ain't never come at bitches like that, but they love to always hit me with the, you black as shit, all oh, this, like, bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. Nobody come at you with them cheap ass clothes. Niggas be the only one trying to drag. We be the only one trying to really come correct for the ladies. She come with these cheap ass clothes. Bitch, on dress down day, you wasn't even dressed down. You dressed up. You feel me? I never told bitches how ugly they was. I know some bitches that braces couldn't even fix. Y'all know braces make everybody look a little good. I'm like, this bitch got braces and she still look like a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, you feel oh, <laughs> all that she. I was saying that about your sheen shit. Mind you, shout out sheen though. Anyways, back to the... Back to the story, like, bro, girls used to disrespect me. And I never disrespected girls because my mom was like, bro, you don't disrespect girls. You don't disrespect girls. So I never was one of them boys who like, yeah, bitch, just that a third, all this. And then my uncle told me like, yo, arguing with girls is gay, all this. So I, I, you feel me? I never really went there unless I really had to. So when I saw this nigga, I'm like, yo, this nigga is black as shit. He made me feel better. I felt light skin sitting next to this nigga. Bro, he was so black, the shade, he made a different tone of shade in the dark. Like, bro, first night sleeping there, I'm just like, damn, bro. Is this nigga below the bed or what? And I knew soon, you know, when you make a move in a room, when two niggas sleep, the other nigga wake up. I'm like, if this nigga wake up and make a move, I'm going to be scared because I don't know if he's sitting there or not. You feel me? But anyways, we get in the tour. I meet Bobo. We're going to call him Bobo. I, I meet the nigga, right? I meet the nigga, and when I meet the nigga, it's just like, you feel me? He just, he don't got no personality at all. None. None. And every time I talk to him, he say, you ever talk to somebody and they never answer your question? Like, not even ignoring it, but they like say an answer that ain't got shit to do with nothing. That was him. He was that type of nigga. But, uh... I meet bro, and they tell me like, yeah, every day your classes will be here. Your classes will be here. After that, y'all off. Y'all could walk around the campus. It was a whole campus, you know, pretty nice piece of land. Um, I bet that was supposed to be uh, owned by my black folks. Shout out my black folks. I need my 40 acres. I ain't letting that shit go. I don't know who's responsible, but I'm beating niggas up. But, uh, yo, nice piece of land. We, we get to walk around to 8 o'clock. Then you got to go into your rooms, bro. 8 o'clock going to your rooms is crazy. It's no TV in there. Uh, your phone, you can't have your phone after 8 o'clock. None of that. You feel me? None of that. So, mind you, I'm in this bitch, bro. That was day one. I got the tour, all this. I met Bo Bo. You feel me? Now, this is how my schedule went. This is how my schedule went, right? Any girls? Yeah, it was some girls in there. It was some girls in there. No, you doing a bit. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, they take your phones at the 8 o'clock. You know what their policy was? 
that technology, the internet, and anything else besides what's in real life is distracting you from what's really going on. So they gave you books. They gave you books, um, books, and packets. Yeah. Mind you, I used to call Bo Bo Black Knight. I used to be like, yo, Black Knight. He used to love that shit, bro. He never smiled. His teeth so white for a black guy uh, of his caliber. I ain't gonna say for a black guy, but like, he's so black when he smiled that his teeth white. The contrast is crazy. Like, as soon as he smile, you, aut- you, you, you automatically understand what comparing and contrasting is. You don't even need that lesson plan as soon as he smile. Everything just makes sense. Pie charts and all that just come to your head. You don't need it. But he disappeared. Bro, you think I disappeared? Nigga. He blend right in. He make you he make he make you freeze in your tracks and say, yo, chill the fuck out. Like when the lights come off, you say, yo, chill. Chill, because I told y'all he a little weird. So uh I used I used I used to be like, yo, black. Black. He just used to do this. He just smile and as soon as he smile, I'm like, yo, you play too much, bro. Chill. You feel me? Smile go away, he automatically disappears. <laughs> now you can't see his eyes because his pupils dark because he smoke. So it got a little a, a little yellow filter. So you can't the white ain't ever whiten. Yeah, he a walking shiesty mask. <laughs> He a lot character. <laughs> he cool as shit though, bro. All he do is bust jokes. That's not the point. So in the morning you wake up for breakfast. Breakfast is at six thirty a.m. If you don't wake up between six thirty and seven, um, it's runch. You cannot get breakfast. You feel me? Mind you, the breakfast is Duke. You go in there, they got breakfast sandwiches, but not the breakfast sandwiches. Not bacon, egg, and cheese from the poppies or the or the or the deli or none of that shit. You get a breakfast sandwich. It's this fake ass egg. It's this fake ass sausage. And it's like a fake McMuffin. But it's inside a clear plastic wrap. And it and and, and I feel like they steam the bags or something. Like the bro, oh my gosh. You get that and then you go grab yourself a fucking cranberry juice. Cranberry juice and nasty uh, breakfast sandwiches. I'm like, damn. That shit was crazy. Bro, it was crazy, bro. What you got to say? AJ underscore Frost one tipped two dollars. Yo, Rod, you think you could listen to my music? It don't got to be on stream, but I'm not gonna self-promo BC. I'm not trying to get banned. Yo, Dreads tough toe. You threw me a little compliment in there, so I don't ban you. I'm going to let that shit slide because you know it's no self-promo. But that's what I'm going to do for you. When I stream tomorrow, I'll do 30 minutes of reacting to to uh, supporters' music. But when I click your account, I got to show that you're an active supporter. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> but anyways... Uh, anyways, the breakfast, we, we wake up for breakfast between 6.30 and 7. After 7, we go to write in. We're in writing for two hours. What are we doing in writing for two hours? Nothing. Nothing. We're in writing for two hours. We go, we go to math for two hours. After we leave math for two hours, because every class is usually an hour, so they doubled it because they believe that for the first hour of class, students usually don't pay attention. But after an hour, they should lock in, right? After, after math, we go to science. After science, we go to history. You feel me? So it's all this shit. And then you get one piece of homework from each class every day. But it got to be a sheet minimum because they don't want to overload y'all since every class is getting. You feel me? And, and homework always do next day. And on and, and, and on weekends and on weekends you stay on the campus. Boarding school means you stay on the campus, bro. It means you stay on the campus. And you can have your phones. You just can't. You just after eight PM is 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 runs. But on the weekend you can have your phone all the time. You feel me? Mind you, she put me in there like I committed a fucking crime. You feel me? 
Like I, like I committed a crime, bro. That's how she was treating me. How many students in each classroom? Ten. Real small. Not enough for you to speak. And they got the desk spread apart like this. Boom. 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 Like, like you far as shit from the nigga. You feel me? They got ten niggas in each classroom. Because it was a boarding school you had to pay for. So not only was it a boarding school, it was on the type tip like, yo, my mom's paying to keep me in jail. Like I'm some type of devil. You feel me? You feel me? It, that sound boring? It's really boring. And if you try to like, yo, I broke my phone. They say, all right, give me the pieces. If you don't got the pieces, then they do a search on your room. And they'll do little slick shit. Like, because I tried to lie already. You feel me? I said, I broke my phone. Then I threw it away. He can't tell me. Once you tell a nigga you did something, he can't tell you you didn't do it. You feel me? He can't tell you you didn't do it. So when I said, bro, I threw it away. It's all over. Just stand the third, all this, right? He said, all right, bet. Bro, I see the nigga, I see the nigga walk past my room, and he's just peeking through the holes. He just peeking through the holes. It was a door, but the door got all circle holes going through it from the top to the bottom. So you can see through it. It's really no privacy. If you want to do anything that's like private, you got to go to the bathroom for that. And you could go to the bathroom anytime you want. But if you get caught creeping in, uh, like playing in the bathroom, you get extra time. Like, uh, you get extra time that you got to spend, like, in certain classes. Whatever, I think, like, your lowest grade is, you spend 30 minute, thirty more minutes in there. So, for real, for real, you don't really want to play in that bitch. You had a girl, the bitches in there was rough. The bitches in there was rough. They was real rough. I'm not going to lie, bro. The bitches in there was hurt pieces. And I think it was more the fact of it really showed me what bitches truly is. And mind you, when I say bitches, I, it, it, if it don't apply, let it fly. You know, I, I know some of y'all like, bitches, oh, this nigga's disrespectful. I'm going to say what I want because that's how I grew up. The bitches in there ain't got access to nails, lashes, eyebrows getting done, lip loss, or none of that. It was no bad bitches. Not at all. It just showed me without that. Because some of them look like, yo, if you had... If you had some few attribute boosters, your player build would definitely be an 80 up, 80 or up, you feel me? Definitely. You feel me? It's like, okay, I see I see that you got hair. If it was getting done, you would be a 7 with some lipstick and an actual nice fit. You would be an 8. You feel me? I can see that. And I'm and I'm and I'm man enough to know like, okay, you're not as rough as I think you are. You feel me? Yeah, and, and then boarding school not for cute bitches anyway. Yeah, yeah, they was looking like little boys. You feel me? And if I saw a bad bitch in there, I probably would have got in trouble. Because if you do something sexual with a girl, you get kicked out. And they send you to the, the school that's actually like jail. Because I would have been trying to fuck. That's just me, though. It's like, bro, I'm in here all day. And and I don't got no phone, no nothing. And, and there's a bad bitch on there. My entertainment is flirting with you. We gonna get each other through this, and I, I need to, I, and I gotta fuck. You feel me? I got to. It's the only way. But uh, it was no bad bitches. So if y'all thought like, yo, it's gonna be some bitches in this story time, it's a girl in this story time. But she ain't. I wasn't trying to come at her ugly ass. Um. Anyways, did the girl wear uniforms? Yeah, they wore skirts with long ass stockings and socks. Yo, thanks for the ten socks. Did you speak the Dukes? Yeah, you get to call your Dukes at the end of the week after you've done your schoolwork. They don't want your parents to distract you or anything that's going on in the outside world. You can't go off campus and go to the store? No, it's a gate. You got to go out the gate. Yeah, it was a gate. Yeah, you couldn't go out the gate. And you had to have your shirt tucked in all day. But um, anyways, Roger, you funny as shit. Appreciate you. Anyways, bro. Back to the story time. It's day two. Y'all know how my schedule work now. You got these long ass two hour periods, and then you got breakfast. And you, you feel me? Breakfast in the beginning, right? So I noticed that I don't eat breakfast. So so look, I don't eat breakfast. When I go into those classes, I know how to do the work, but I keep my head down because it's just like, bro, it's nothing to be excited about. Just stand the third. I noticed that everybody was like that. Now it was on the type tip, like, bro. I know everybody here is down because it's nothing to be happy about. But I'm just like, yo, it's nobody in here that's like chilling, right? So the next night, I'm like, yo, Bobo, 
You feel me? Well, I called, like I told you, I called him Black Knight. So I was like, yo, Black. He said, huh? I was like, bro, where you from? Right? So he said, Michigan. So this let me know, mind you, I'm looking at niggas. I'm thinking, I'm thinking niggas is from, uh, I'm thinking niggas is from the same place. I'm from Philly. So he said, Michigan. So I'm like, yo, your friend that you be talking to, where he from? And he like, yeah, he from North Dakota. Once you know a nigga from North or South Dakota is involved, you automatically know it's weird shit going on. You know it's weird shit going on. Nobody actually is from those places. So I automatically like, yo, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an experiment. Gotta be. North Dakota, be fucking real. No, you're not. You're not. Yeah, it's NPC land. It's NPC land. So, bro, that is that. That's not a fucking real place. Nobody go like what? That's that's a place for the map. But um, once he said that, I'm just like, oh okay. So I'm like, how long you been here? He said he was there the whole last year. So I'm like, oh all right, bet bet bet. So I'm asking him questions about the place. I'm like, bro, black. It don't seem like everybody always said. And he was like, there's nothing to be happy about. I said, yeah, I was thinking that too. So I went to sleep. Everything cool, right? Everything cool. The next day, I noticed in the morning, bro. I noticed in the morning. Everybody like this in the morning. I'm like, is it because everybody tired? I went to sleep on time because there's nothing else to do. So I wasn't tired. I'm like, damn, I'm the only nigga energized. We go to the next class. Everybody heads down. All this. So I said, hmm. I was a class clown at my other job. Let me try to be a class clown. So my teacher talking. Yeah, y'all. Every time he talked, it sounded like a movie. It sounded like he's not really saying. Like, if you really hear what he's saying, it sounded like he's not going to stop talking. It don't sound like he's old. Like, when he turned around... It don't look like he's going to call on nobody. It don't look, he don't, nobody ask questions or nothing. Everybody just like AIs. So I think he said, I think it was math class. And he said, uh, mathematicians are some of the smartest people in the world. Some shit like that. I said, I'm one of the smartest people in the world. Three niggas looked at me. One of, one of them was girls. They rolled their eyes, went back to the downstairs. I'm like, okay, I got, I got, I got to bump this shit up. So I'm like, all right, let me step my fucking game up. You feel me? Let me step my game. That was something, that was something to just see where niggas was going to take it. I, I had to test y'all, y'all laugh level. And I, and, and, and I know when I'm making niggas laugh. I know, I know when I'm making niggas laugh because when I'm making niggas laugh, anytime, y'all going to notice about me. If I feel like I'm making y'all laugh through the screen, I'm going to keep building off that same joke. I'm going to keep saying shit off that same joke. So I'm like, I got to step it up on these niggas. You feel me? I'm like, let me, uh, tough crowd. Exactly, tough crowd. So I'm like, okay. So he talking and shit, right? So his name was Frank. In this school, you don't call people Mr. or nothing. You call them by their first name. So I said, Frank, mind you, I said, Frank, uh, what I, what I say, what I say about his, about what he was wearing? Was he bald? Absolutely. It's like, no, he wasn't bald. <laughs> he had, like, white people here. You know white people. They got, like, unbelievable styles. Like, they, their hair would naturally just, like, go like this or something and just stay all of it, just be like that. And, like, it should just fly up. Like, they sh sometimes they should curl down. Sometimes they got a natural bob. Niggas just be weird. Mind you, bro's learning the jokes to use. No, nah, but I'm like, I'm really going to make this nigga laugh. So, mind you, he a math boy, all this. So I said, Mr. Frank, what you got on? He said, uh, slacks. I'm like, you wearing slacks because you slacking, Mr. Frank? Mind you, I'm smiling. I'm like, yo, I just dick these niggas with this jaw. I'm like, yo, I just, <laughs> I thought I dicked him. The one girl said, can you be quiet? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Mind you, I know that was an L joke. So I'm like, all right, that's step two. You got to think, step one of the joke was me saying, yeah, I'm such and such. It wanted to see, only dumb niggas would laugh at that. Like, yeah, mathemat mathematicians are geniuses. I'm a genius. 
It's like, yo, Rod, you dumb. All right, that's cool. That's step left. That's step one. Step two. Let me bust that actual jaw. Let me see. Let me see. Niggas don't laugh at that. So I'm like, all right, let me step this shit up. This level three, bro. If I if I bust a level three joke and nobody in a room laugh, bro, y'all gotta be NPCs. This is my NPC test for these niggas right now, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. So Mr. Frank talking, right? Mr. Frank talking. I said, hey, can I come up to the board and can I do it, right? So I grabbed the marker. You feel me? I'm up there, right? And I'm writing, and I'm and I'm and I'm writing my name. He's not saying nothing. He just said, "Yeah, uh, you can basically explain uh, what you think it is, right?" So I go up to the board. I'm writing my name, right? So as I'm writing my name, I put a comma after my name, and I'm writing Brown. That's my last name, and I keep writing, right? So I'm writing all this shit on the board, right? I'm writing all this shit on the board, and I'm think I'm waiting for this nigga to say like, "Yo, Sherrod, what you doing?" Right, and I was gonna bust the funniest joke after he said, "Right, what you doing?" So I'm just writing. I'm like, I'm waiting for this nigga. I noticed I didn't fill up half of the board. I look at him and he said, "Can you stop wasting our time?" He digged me. <laughs> he digged me. <laughs> he killed my shit. <laughs> Cooked my dumb <laughs> Mind you, I'm waiting for him to say, hey, what you doing? So I control this nigga. But mind you, he let me finish until I realized. And said, can you stop wasting our time? <laughs> Yo, mind you, uh, what I about to say, uh, Bobo was in my mathematics class, and mind you, he used to just smile, he didn't laugh, but he smiled, so he made me feel a little comfortable, cause he was just like, he just was like, you feel me, he would just smile, I said, Bobo, them niggas ain't laughing, Bobo said, the first drawer, the first drawer under the cab, uh, the first, he said, the first left drawer. So I said, I said, what you talking about, bro? He like, I'm trying to tell you. So I'm like, this nigga's wild. And mind you, his black ass used to just say random shit. And yeah, black, <laughs> just black, like, like what? So, uh, it's day three, right? Fuck you, African. Bro, I don't know what bro got on, going on. I don't want to call niggas that's extremely black African because I feel like that's just wilding. Nigerian niggas going to ask different type of African people. Was he Nigerian? Was he Ghanaian? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I didn't. He didn't really, bro. He didn't really give straightforward answers for me to find out all that. I'm still trying to figure out how his black ass came from Michigan. He ain't say Africa. I said, bro, Africa? Yeah, not Africa. Michigan. So you're not African. Michigan. All the nigga knew was Michigan. So, but uh, every time I asked him, mind you, and, and he smoked, it's like, bro, you probably is from Michigan. But, um, maybe his parents? I don't know, bro. Ain't Michigan cool? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, on the third day, I met the principal of the school. I was in writing class. Uh, I was in writing class, which is my first class after breakfast, and I met the principal. The principal walk in, right? Principal walk in, and it's a white man. It's the whitest man ever, literally. It's a it's a real white bro. Don't what what? Josh tipped two dollars. When are you dropping that sad song, Lord Shit Heat? Shit Heat. I don't know what song you're talking about, but I, I don't know, bro. I'm trying to get shit together. Hold up, though. Niggas dark and dumb. <laughs> Yo, I think I am dropping a, a, a song next month, though. I ain't gonna lie. But, um, yeah, don't get until I'm done. Yo, if you watching the story and you liking it, drop us up. Mods, run that ad for the people who ain't drop us up. They ain't have nothing. They don't got nothing to do with me. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the like button. Let me get 10,000 likes, and I got y'all with another story time. Uh, Dark Lives Matter. Yeah, shout out him, Darker Lives, because I'm dark.
Darker Lives Matter. Uh, I don't think they got his shade on like the Black Lives Matter poster. But I meet the um I meet the principal and he's just like white, like really white. Like you ever see somebody that's like, whoa, you're just like stereotypically white. Like white, you come in. How you guys doing? Hey. Well, I hope everything going good. I'm gonna see you guys later. So I see, bro, and it scared me because it scared me because it's not that many white people in the school. I think it was the math teacher who's white. But he's white, but his skin ain't white, white. You feel me? It's a little bit coloring, but I know he white, right? And then it's like some cleaning lady. He's like the only other white lady, uh, white person. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like that white. So, boom. He come in, and, and, and I'm just like, damn, what the fuck is going on? So, I'm going through my classes that day. I'm going through my classes that day, and I asked to go to the bathroom, right? So, when I asked to go to the bathroom, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes bathroom trips need it, bro. When I asked to the, go to the bathroom, sometimes I got to go to the bathroom, but it's not only that I got to go to the bathroom. It's like I can't keep sitting here. Sometimes you got to explore. You feel me? Sometimes you ever been in a, a school and you start going all the way up the steps, you walking on floors that ain't yours. You walking in the basements. Like, sometimes you just gotta... Bro, I explore all the time. Go through hallways I ain't go through yet. Or, you feel me? Walk near the front office. Shit like that. So, I'm doing that, right? So, I'm doing that shit. Right? And while I'm doing that shit, I'm walking into random rooms and I'm just looking like, Whoa, some rooms look nicer than, than others. You feel me? I'm walking to random rooms and then I see the office. So, I walk into the office and... And I'm about to basically tell the principal, like, yo, um, is it possible, like, exploring be fun? Exactly, just wandering. So I wanted to ask the uh, principal, is it possible that I just get, like, you know, the weekend off or something? Because if it's, like, funerals or something, like, really, really bad, they'll let you leave. Like, you can't leave this bitch until your mom call you, but, like, I, I mean, until your parent wants you. Besides that, you got to wait till the school, the school year is over. You feel me? Yeah, sometimes I don't even go to the bathroom. I'm just roaming. So when I go in there to walk into the office, nobody in the office. But behind the office desk is a uh, principal's office. So I walk into the principal office. So when I walk in the principal office, I go to get him, but nobody's in that bitch. I see his office, bro. His office got all these animals hanging up. He got a, a, a tiger, a moose, a, a, a bear. The nigga, the nigga rug, it's just like all of these animals, bro. All of these animals on the wall. Animal heads, animal carpets. His whole floor is just animal carpets, right? Right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. It, I'm, I, and I'm thinking, like, does, does this nigga kill him himself? Why the fuck he, like, you feel me? So, he got all this shit, right? It was real fur or fake. I'm not sure. It, it looked really real. I, I didn't know to feel it. I didn't try to feel the shit to know if it was real or fake, but like it just it looked real. So I'm in his shit and then bro, I swear to God, I walk in a little bit, I'm looking, I turn around, my heart almost dropped to my fucking ass. Bro, I turn around, the niggas right behind me, not saying nothing. He's not saying nothing. Bro, he said, you having fun? Bro, I almost dropped to my fucking knees. I'm like, oh, you ever, you ever, you ever get to a point where it's like, yo, this, this, this was me at my most vulnerable point. This is my most lacking shit. Bro, the nigga caught me at my most lacking point. The nigga just, I turned around. <gasps> I almost dropped to my foot. I'm like, yo. But, bro, he like, you having fun? I'm like, I was just coming here to speak to you. He said, talk to me. So, I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to know if I could get a, a night pass. You feel me? A, a, a weekend pass. I wanted to go home. You feel me? Just at the third. The whole thing was, if I get this night pass, I'm not I'm not coming back. My mom, my mom not getting me in a car to come back. So, when they give you the pass, that's why it's so hard to get a pass. Because some people go to their home place and they'll run away. Right? So, he's like, uh, we can see what we do, but most likely we don't give out passes. So, 
So I said, what do I got to do to get one? He said, it's not necessarily something you got to do. It got to just happen. So I'm like, well, I just happened to want to see my family. So how do I get one for the weekend? I, I'm going to come back Monday. It don't matter. So he's like, yeah, we'll see. You know, it's Thursday. Let me know. And then we'll see. Just in the third, all this, right? So I said, all right, say no more, right? Y'all, I'm walking back to the classroom and all that, right? I'm walking back to the classroom. And when I walk into the classroom, he said, hey, you've been going for 20 minutes. So I said, yeah, I was talking to the principal. Because I be thinking like, yo, when I talk to the principal or when I talk to somebody that's higher up, it trumps the whole bathroom shit. If you like, yo, where was you at? And I'm like, yo, the principal stopped me to talk to me. That's your fucking boss. You don't tell me like, yeah, but you were supposed to go into the bathroom. So I said, I was with the principal. So he said, that's not where you asked to go. I said, you wouldn't let me go if I asked to go to the principal anyway. I was, you feel me? I was going to, like, I used the bathroom too. Like, what the fuck? It, it, it's about the bathroom? I'm like, I used the bathroom too. Um, and he was like, basically like, um, uh, we're going to talk about it after class. So this is the first time I've seen him break out of character to really say something. So he said, you're going to have to serve detention. So I'm like, detention? Bro, we live here. What are you gonna? What are you really going to do? So I really had a nonchalant attitude towards it. I'm like, detention? What the fuck? You can't do nothing to me, boy. What the fuck are you talking about? So, you feel me? Like, don't... Detention. Anyways, brother. Fuck. Yeah, type weird shit he on. So we going... Right, detention in my residence. That's what I'm saying. So at the at the end of the, all the classes and shit, right? Uh, he said, hey, you know you got detention, right? I said, yo, I'm going to keep it a bug. I'm not going to detention. Now, you got to get this. When you talking to black people, right? When you talking to black people, black people automatically going to show what they really want to do. So when you say come to detention and I hit you with the fuck out of here. If you was a real teacher, you would have said, yo, stop playing me. I call your mom. Try to put your foot down a little bit. Even if I'm not scared of my mom. You don't try nothing to put your foot down. I'm going to walk over you. So he didn't put no fight up. You feel me? He just let me go back to my room. So, y'all, I go back to my room. Yo, I swear to God when I say this shit, bro. Look, I go back to my room. I'm laying on my bed. Right? I look through the holes of the gate. I see two white people looking into my room, smiling. I swear, I, I swear, I, bro, I see two white people smiling. I scream, I scream, I scream like a bitch. I scream like a bitch. The principal had a twin. The principal had a twin. The shit, the shit. I swear to God, the principal had a twin. So, I, bro, bro, I wanted to piss my fucking pants. I wanted to piss, I wanted to piss my, bro, how long have y'all been standing there smiling? Smiling. 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 And then you just met the principal today, and there was two of them smiling. With the same outfit on. Looking through a hole. No. Gums all out. Cheesing. Uh-uh. Y'all, my heart left my fucking shit. They traumatized the shit out of me. After I caught my breath, after I caught my breath, they're like, hey, I, I heard you had the tension and, and meet my brother, right? So he introduced me to his brother and he was like, yeah, basically, he, he, he basically said like, he basically said like, yo, you had the tension and you didn't go, you're going to be an interesting student, right? So he said, you're going to be an interesting student. So I'm like, what you mean by that? He like, you're just going to be interesting. Not a lot of people disobey us. So I said, disobey? He said, not a lot of people don't follow the rules. The ru rules are meant to be followed. That's why you're in boarding school. His brother said, yeah, mm-hmm. So I, I'm saying, I'm like, what? So I get off the bed, right? I get off the bed, and then basically they took me to some room, right? In this room. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Y'all got some fire videos coming. Niggas is doing their job right now. Okay. 
2 a.m. niggas is feeling like workers. Get to it, nigga. But um, they take me to the room. In this room, I see my first white student, right? The white student is talkative, right? He's talkative. He's sitting next to me. We're not allowed to talk. But if we do talk, extra time is added. Bobo is also in the room. Bobo says, Bobo says, a drawer. I'm like, what? Is it a drawer? I'm like, bro, go ahead. So the white, the little, uh, white, the white yumbo is like, yeah, he always said that. I'm like, I don't know. He like, um, he like, what you in here for? I said, for going to the bathroom too long, right? Bro, I said, for going to the bathroom too long. Bro, these niggas is weird, bro. I swear to God, these niggas is weird. So he said, uh, I said, go into the bathroom too long. So he was like, how I got sent to a weird boarding school? Yeah, hold on, let me get through this. So I said, I was going to the bathroom too long. He was like, yeah, that's crazy. He was like, yeah, I said, what you do? And he was like, nothing for real. I don't even know why I'm in here. So this is the first person that's talking to me as if I was, like, regular. So I'm like, damn, he talking to me like I'm regular. Like, I fuck with this, right? So I'm talking to bro, and then he like, yeah, duh. but be quiet for, you know, you get in more trouble. So I'm like, bro, we out of school, realistically. If this supposed to be for school, what you mean? He like, I don't want to say too much, right? So I said, oh, okay. So I'm just sitting there, and then I ask him, yo, bro, what you mean by that? And he not talking. He just keep doing this. I said, what, bro? I'm like, what you doing? He do this again. I said, yo, bro. Last thing you got to say to me, and I'm going to stop talking to you. I said, do you know where... I said, do you know where I can, like, you know, get my phone? I said, when I get my phone, I got to call my mom. I feel uncomfortable. He said, if you get your phone, then you really going to get the punishment. I said, what? Twenty minutes passed, and the principal come in and pulled that one white student out the room. I automatically got goosebumps. Goosebumps went on my skin. I automatic, bro. My uh, my stomach dropped. I look all around me, and I said, "Whoa." Uh uh-uh. uh, because it's 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 a mix of black black people. It's a few white people. And all that. But when I lead a class, right, when I lead a class and I go back, I'm going back to my room after sitting there for an hour, I see bro. I'm like, bro, you know where I could get my phone? I said, I don't care if I could get in trouble, bro. I got to get my shit. Bro looked at me and said, do I know you? I said, what? He psyched, nah, man. Don't get in trouble. And kept walking. So I go back in my room and I'm losing my fucking marbles. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm losing my marbles. I'm losing them. I'm losing them. So (laughs) I'm losing them. I said, Bobo, where can I get my phone? He said, he says, sometimes drawer. I said, what? Like a drawer. I said, bro, what? What are you talking about? So I, I go and I ask the teacher because it's before it's before eight. I said, can I get my can I get my phone back? You feel me? I said, I want to get my phone back before 8 o'clock. You can't get your phone because you had detention. You get your phone in tomorrow. I like, I just want to call my mom. Can I make a call then? Can I use your phone? I know her number. No phones right now. You use your phone tomorrow. You go back to your room. Or you could go walk around. So I go back. I'm like, bro, they're not trying to give me my phone. Can I see your phone? So he like, nah, bro. He like, he like, I don't got no phone. I'm like, damn. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So I'm like, bro, you want to go for a walk? So we went for a walk. He made me feel a little better, bro. He actually funny. But it was a little scary because the whole setting felt fake. And and he was just walking and smiling. So we coming back in. And as we coming back in, right? As we coming back into the school, 
it's about to be time to go back to our room. And we walked past some room where, like, it was a fancier door. Like, every door was wood, but this door was, like, a newer wood. And he pointed at the door. And it was like, he was like the phone, the phone's being there. I said, what you mean? It's the phone. And, and he African, so you know how Africans cut off words that's actually needed? I don't think they think it's needed. But, like, true Africans who, like, really Africans, they don't, they don't, like, they they don't say all the words that's needed. You feel me? And that's why I get so frustrated in real time with Africans. Because, like, an African nigga come pick me up in an Uber. I say, bang a left. Huh? Huh, nigga? A left. Huh? 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 And keep going straight. It misses the fucking left. I'm trying to buy something off an African nigga. He done made it the cheap way, but he charging the real price. I, I'm trying to buy something off the nigga. He he overcharged. Bro, African niggas are hustlers, bro. If African niggas can make a million dollars off labor, they fucking would. You feel me? So this nigga already scary, bro. You feel me? So I, he said the phone's in there. So I tried to get in there. As soon as I, I start touching the door, I said, bro, look out for me. As soon as I start touching the door, this nigga Bobo ran on us, bro. He ran on me. I'm like, bro, what you doing? So I start running too because I'm like, bro, why you not looking out? He's like, no, no. So I'm like, bro, what they going to do to you, bro? What the fuck? Like, why you tripping? Anonymous tipped $2. How old were you in this story? Anonymous tipped $2. Uh, let me tell you the exact year. Hold up, because I, 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 I got a picture of the outside of the boarding school. Let me see. I think it was definitely like 14. I'm going to tell you what year and then we could go backwards. Um, let me find the picture. Bro, but he ran on me, bro. So we get back to the John and I, I want to know more about, I want to know more about him. Yeah, I was 14. I want to know more about this nigga. So I'm like, yo, Black, why you run? Black like, no, no, no. So I'm like, Black, what's up? So I'm talking to Black. I forget about all the creepy shit. And I'm talking to him about music. I'm like, bro, what, what songs you like? And then he's saying some song. He started singing some some melody. Like, right? He started saying like, oh, da, da, da. like some. It was some melody. I forgot how it go. But it scared me because this melody that he's singing, he sings this melody every night. And I thought he was just making this sound, but it's like I found out this was an actual song. So I'm like, bro, what is that? I'm like, bro, you're scaring me because why you say that shit every night before we go to sleep? He say it so much that one of the times when we in classroom, I'm just like, mm, I'm humming it in my head because I haven't heard the music. I haven't heard like real music in a minute because I don't have headphones in that bitch. And I'm not a nigga to play music out the speaker. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm. He keeps singing that shit, right? So I'm scared. So I'm like, no, I'm I'm busting out to get my phone, bro. I got to. You feel me? So I, I leave the room and I'm going to get my phone, right? So that that room, I go into it, right? I'm I'm I'm, I'm shaking the handle. I go into that bitch. I go into there. It's dark as shit. I'm rubbing the walls near it. I rub the walls near it. I had a switch. It turned on, right? It turned on as soon as it turned on. I go in there. I'm looking for my phone. He said the phone's being here. It's a regular office, but it looked fancier for some reason. So I'm in this bitch, and I'm looking. I'm looking for that shit, right? And I hear somebody. I hear uh, 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 all of this, right? It sounds like the principal. He don't come in. You know, it, this ain't no movie shit. He don't come in and all this. He walked past the room, right? So after he walked past the room, I'm like, all right, great. I'm checking all this shit. I'm checking this shit. I can't find it. I'm like, fuck. I got to go back to the room. Soon as I leave out, bro, I see the principal to my left side standing down the hall. His he usually always smile, always. His smile go away. And he like this. He usually like this. And then he like this. And he said, What was you doing in that room? Yo, I automatically run. I run. I run. I run. I ran. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, bro, I gotta go. I ran, bro. My bro, my ass was literally below the earth. My ass was down there in hell. My bro. And when I ran, he ran after me, bro. I just had to run. 
It's fight or flight. I'm like, bro, I got to run. So I'm running. But mind you, at 8 is when you're supposed to be in a room. I was talking to Bo Bo for like an hour. When I was talking to Bo Bo, time must have passed. It must have been like nine something. It's dark outside. Now I'm running, but it's a gate. You can't get out the gate. So he's he's going to get me. There's no way he's not going to get me. But I'm thinking like, fuck, if I run to a different entrance and run back in, I could, I could try to get my phone or something. Right? So I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. The principal pop up at the other end of the hall. So I run back the other way. That's his twin. The nigga grabbed me. Let's go. They take me to this room. Bro, in the room, it's a metal chair. They sit me down. They close the door. I said, whoa. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? They come back in. All this. They give me a worksheet, a little mini packet. When you finish the packet, you can leave. I'm doing math and reading packets at night. They slap me with work. And y'all know the worst thing about they work? Y'all know how some 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 uh schools grade on com- completion? They grade on correct, correctness, accuracy. If it's not all correct, and they won't help you. They won't help you. It has to be right. You have to and it's not multiple choice. Everything open ended. Nigga put me in a death match. With myself. Mind you, the math was easy. I cooked the math. I do the writing part. I didn't turn I didn't show this nigga the paper six times before he accepted. I get back to my room. I'm I'm like, yo, black, you sleep. I'm laying down. It's about to be the next morning. But when it's the next morning, you have to go to that's the point of boarding school. No more cutting. You have to go to your class. Right? So I get back into my shit, go to sleep. You, you feel well. I'm about to go to sleep. It's about to be. It's about to be daytime the next day, and I'm like, "Yo, black you up?" He said, "Yep." Yeah. And he's starting singing that melody. He starts singing that melody. I'm like, "Black, can you stop that? That shit sound weird." He's still saying that shit. So I look at the below the bed. And I say, "Black, can you stop saying that shit?" Black is singing the shit in his sleep. I'm like, black, chill, bro. I'm like, chill. I wake him up. You feel me? He, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He say, sorry, all this, right? I'm like, bro, chill the fuck out. Bro, now I'm genuinely, like, scared. They putting me into a shell. I go to, I go to, I go to class the next morning, and now I'm like this. I'm like this, but because I'm scared. I usually sit up. I usually sit up, try to be funny. I'm like this because I'm scared. I'm scared. Of, I don't know what I'm scared of, but I'm just scared. And the next class I go to, I'm just scared. I'm just doing my work. You feel me? A new student came on, right? A new student came. And he was up. And I realized, yo, this new student energy is up. He me last week. I'm down there. I'm down like this, like the depressed students. I'm down. They, they got me in check. They got me in check, bro. So I'm like, no, nah, fuck no. Why they got me in check, bro? I'm like, no, nah, they got my ass. So as soon as I peep, they got me in check. I'm like, whoa, they got me scared to be myself. So I'm like, yo, these niggas can't beat my ass. Fuck no. I'm not about to fall for it. So when we walking past that room again, I say, yo, bro, where is the phones? He that room. I'm like, but they're not in that room. I check everything. That room, that room. That room, he pointing to it. I'm like, it's not in that room. Right? That night, I'm like, bro, where's the phones? If I could just call my mom, I'm going to get the, I'm going to be cool. Right? He like, that is that room, that room, that room. Right? So I'm like, I'm about to go back to that room. As I'm leaving that room, he say, left drawer. Bro, I, 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 I go to the room. I'm searching, just that in the third, all this. I'm looking down the halls, bro, because I'm like, bro, if I see a nigga down these halls, I'm going to run fast as shit. I'm in that bitch, and I'm thinking, where the fuck is this shit at? I'm checking everything, shelves, boxes, because they take everybody's phone. Bro, it's a file cabinet that I didn't check. The shit is locked. But it's the left drawer. 
it's locked. But it's the left drawer. That's dropped. That's locked. So I grabbed the handle and I'm like, mmm, 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 mmm. I'm trying to pull that shit. You feel me? I'm trying to pull that shit, bro. That shit not opening. Right? Picking locks. I don't I never learned how to do that shit. That's not a thing. But it was a drill in that bitch. And if there's one thing I know how to do, is use a drill. I turn that shit to the right and I use a drill bit and I go through it and pull it back out. Go through it. Pull it back out. Go through it. Pull that back out. Bro, I fucked the whole lock up. Now I'm banging it, banging it. I'm pulling that. Open it. It's all these phones. But I got a case on my shit. So I'm looking for my case. Looking, 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 looking. I found my case. I'm turning my shit on. I'm turning it on. As I'm turning it on, I'm typing in my passcode. I hear somebody grabbing on the handle. I lock the door behind me because I'm like, yo, they can't beat my ass. So I just got to find, I find my shit. So somebody on the handle. Who's in there? Who's in there? Right? So the brothers look the same, but they different. So I hear the other one. Who's in there? Get out now! And his shit is more dominant. It's more certain. So he start hitting it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Bro, I don't know what they grabbed at this point. But now they hitting it. Boom. Right? I'm on my phone. I'm typing in my code. It's like 11 o'clock though. My mom be going to work because she got work. I mean, she be going to sleep because she got work. It's ringing. Boom. Boom. When we break this door down, it's over for you. So now I'm like, yo, what the fuck I'm going to do? Boom. Boom. They breaking that bitch down. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm calling my mom. Bro, it's not. She's not answering. I'm calling my grandma. I'm in there for a minute. I'm calling everybody. Boom. Boom. I see a dent going to the door. I'm like, oh my fucking gosh. The door dented. Boom, they finally make a hole. The nigga stick his eyes through and say, Sharad, you're done. Boom, they start. Hello? Mom? Uh, he breaking it down. Boom, he climbing through. <laughs> he coming through. It's done for you. Hang that phone up. I'm like, Mom, they try to kill me. Mom! <laughs> she what? I put it on speaker. And I put the phone behind me. I put the phone by, I put it on speaker. I put the phone behind me. And now I'm ready to brawl. I'm like, she gonna hear me while I fight. I'm ready to brawl. One of the brothers getting in. So I'm like, whoa, I can't let this nigga fully get into the door. I grab a weapon. I hit him with it. Boom! Hit him with it while he try to get through the door. Because his, his hand is trying to get in there. Boom, and his hand. Mom, they trying to kill me. Sherrod, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm like, Mom, they trying to kill me. One of the niggas' hands slip. Unlock it. They come in. Mom, the school, please. If you want me to die. Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, Mom, please. This, that, and third. All of this. Y'all, they took me to the bad boy room. Y'all know what's in the bad boy room? I know it's in the bad boy room. A TV. They call it the bad boy room. And it's a bad girl's room. It's a TV. It's a bunch of TV tables and chairs. You just you just sit there. You just sit there. Down strap, you down nothing. They just put you in the room. So I'm sitting there with my head down, and all you hear is the same John. The same John, bro. It's playing over and over. The same episode. The episode is like two minutes. The same John. I'm just sitting there. I'm just like, oh, bro. I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting. I actually watched it. It was it was a little entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. It was a little cartoon. I'm um, watching it. Just in a third artist. You feel me? Nigga, come in here. Give me my food. Next John. Boom. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, hours. I don't know how long I was in that bitch, right? One of the prince, one of the well, the principal. I don't. They're twins. 
I don't know if that was the principal. Uh, I think I think yeah. it was the brother because he's more aggressive. We're gonna go with him. The brother going there, right? So when the brother come in there, he like, "Are you ready to go back to your room? You're not allowed to have your phones. We're trying to teach y'all discipline because y'all obviously not listening to your parents." So if we teach y'all to do what we say the first time and we really enforce that, when y'all go home, y'all going to know better, even if this place got it scared into you. So I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, I know. I know this and the third. He like, bet. He like, let me walk you back to your room. So when he walking me back to my room, right, guess, guess what he do when he walked me back to my room? Yo, thanks for the 10 subs. Yo, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub. Guess what he do when he walk me back to my room? Guess what? Fucks you? Come on, bro. Chill out. <laughs> he starts singing a song. Uh, 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 he starts singing the same fucking melody that Black be singing. Y'all, a tear dropped down my eye. A tear dropped down my eye. A tear dropped down my eye. I was genuinely scared of Bobo now. I was genuinely scared of him. Black said, you okay? I said, Black, I'm good. I start... Crying. And I was only 14. The next morning, they let me know that Dukes was coming to get me. She held a meeting with the principal. The principal was a different nigga. The principal was a different nigga, bro. The principal was acting all nice this and third. Well, if you want to, if you want to leave, you can leave. But if you stay, I, I think I think it would be real nice. I said, Mom, please take me. They gonna kill me. Mom, please, please. She said, You gonna act? You gonna act good at home? I'm I'm like, Mom, I do whatever you need me to do. I don't want to be here, Mom. Please, please. She like, All right, I'm gonna take you to stand the third. All this, y'all. I went home. My mom said, Do them dishes. I said, Yes, ma'am. When I told her about everything that happened, she told me I was lying. She told me I was exaggerating. I said, Mom, they was taking our phones. She said, yeah, I signed the paper for that. I said, Mom, they kept singing the same song. She said, yeah, you know all them people. They, they, they've been there for years. It's probably it's, she just kept making excuses. And when I got home, I cleaned at anything she said. Anything. And and, and 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 that was the experience on, on boarding school. Let me see what, what, what John it was. It wasn't in Philly. It was in PA because it was a long drive. Hold up. Trust issues. Giving me away from you. From you. I don't know what I feel, but it's magic It's like attraction Bodies together like magnets If push come to shove, I'ma shove you Nobody above you You suck my neck, then I stumble That's just my mind Feel like my body could whine We intertwine I am your sun, you my moon, you a crescent Let's get away from the light, come and teach me a lesson of blessing It's like you stress all night When we can sex all night Why would we text all night? Can you relax all right? You can't believe it I make your soul straight you flush your problems down the drain, forget the whole thing Don't take your clothes off, I know you seen it I pull your panties to the side, 